Heavy downpours take lives and leave trails of destruction here in the nation. With most of the damage concentrated in the central region, the government considers designating the area as a special disaster zone. Yi Gyeonghun has our top story. The past five days of heavy downpours have left enormous damage across the central parts of South Korea. One of the hardest hit areas is Chungcheongbuk-do province, which has reported five deaths and eight people missing since August 1st, when torrential rains started pounding the region. Four of them were firefighters who went missing while on duty. In Chungcheongnam-do province, the cities of Cheonan and Asan were slammed by hundreds of millimeters of rain. In Gyeonggi-do province near Seoul, another eight people have died and one person is missing. As more damage is expected in the central region, the Prime Minister has proposed providing these areas with state funding by designating them as special disaster zones. I urge the Ministry of Interior and Safety to swiftly review the proposal of designating Chungcheongbuk-do, Chungcheongnam-do and Gyeonggi-do provinces as special disaster zones. Once approved, the plan will be carried out by the Finance Ministry. It will provide immediate government assistance to all affected families while allocating an extra budget from the National Treasury for the Special Disaster Zone. A new set of tax measures will be implemented to ease the financial burden on those affected by the flooding and landslides. That includes delaying the official tax payment date by nine months and allowing a partial tax exemption if more than 20 percent of the person's property has been damaged. Along with the financial policy, the Prime Minister also called on local governments to strictly abide by virus prevention measures in temporary shelters to prevent any COVID-19 outbreak. More than 1,500 people across the country are staying in such facilities as a Wednesday. Yang Arirang News.